I've written them with all the references that are relevant. So the air we breathe, it's still hard for people to believe that the air is actually giving us so much mercury and lead. But it's been front page of the New York Times. They show that when we just added one power plant in Texas, autism went up. That was one power plant. We do 50 each month new power plants, cold burning in China. And that's the reason that the oceans are so loaded with all that mercury. What goes up has to come down. And so there isn't any easy escape from these things. So the air, if, because people have a lot of trouble figuring out where does all this bad stuff come from. Now, this again is your EWG trying to teach people that all Americans, no matter where you have a huge, it's a body burden. Now you have another body burden. That's why I yesterday gave you the lecture FIGHT, because the second body burden will be pathogens. And obviously, as you poison the population, the pathogens have a little upper upper hand because they adapt a little faster than we do. So that when I treat anybody for a serious illness, I always lower the total body burden of pathogens. And if you can do IV ozone and ultraviolet blood, you're going to drop the titer to AIDS or hepatitis C around 98 to 99% by the first three to four treatments appropriately given. So that's still the best. I can't do that with any oil. But I can mention to everybody that when I use silver, the correct ones that have real research behind them, and this one has now gotten EW, the EPA approval. No other silver has EPA approval because they, when we add one more ingredient to this, it actually will kill the anthrax spores. And right now when we use a bronchoscope in the hospital, we usually have to treat it with glutaraldehyde, which is so toxic that we can't even put the bronchoscope back into circulation. And so across, across the board, uh, what we're teaching people is that the silver actually is a conditionally essential nutrient that was in our food. And we may, if I stop talking so long, we may get to those slides. There's a lot of slides. <laughs> so in any event, it's just important to know that the source of the PVC product, et cetera, in our houses, our vinyl siding, our pipes, our windows, I mean, you're not going to be able to get rid of it. So you're stuck with figuring out what can you do that your body will neutralize, because I have patients who take the oral chelation, they take the nine pills, and two days later they say, I have energy. And then no vitamin ever gave me energy. I said, of course it didn't give you energy. You were throwing the, throwing the vitamin into a cesspool. I haven't gotten rid of your cesspool, but I can tie it up. So think, if you put, as we do in Europe today, and we treat colon cancer and pancreatic cancer. We have a zeolite coming from Croatia. We have you take a teaspoon of it every hour for 16 hours a day for a month. It costs you $500 for that little jar of zeolite. That's pushing zeolite to the limit because the studies that we got Croatian government to pay for at a place called Harvard Medical School are studies on the immune system because everybody wants to be able to do the toxin studies but since I haven't been able to get the price down below $4,900 for their first study, I don't have a lot of before and afters on people that have taken the zeolite. So we have to go largely on a simple thing. In my case, I went by the fact that my exercise tolerance was dramatically changed when I did the zeolite. And my, I live on a mountain. It's called, it's called Fountain Hills. But it's 2,000 foot elevation and it goes right like that up in front of my house. So when I'm, I've already had over 200 IV chelation when I, you know, I got into IV chelation 38 years ago. For about 15 to 20 years, I've been doing entirely oral. But I've cheated and I've taken orally DMPS for a month every year and DMSA six months out of a year and 12 grams of vitamin C, which is a chelating agent, every single day. And the fiber, which when you read up on the most nutrient-dense food, the fiber is loaded with beta-cytosterol as well as octocosinol, gamma resinol, and all the B vitamins. It's the most nutrient-dense. And then we added to it something that would feed your probiotic. And so that's not the fiber. The fiber comes in a jar like that. The fiber mm -hmm. is just is called Beyond Fiber. What's it called? Beyond Fiber. Beyond. Dr. The Jerusalem Art Show, is that actually... What I read in your material last night was, is it actually a probiotic itself? No, we would call it a prebiotic. Prebiotic. Yeah, we don't call it a, But what's unique about it is that everybody wanted to feed the healthy probiotic, which we have to take every day. 
and and everybody else wants to lie and say that their silver is so smart it doesn't kill it, it doesn't kill the good guys. I tell them I, I've never found that smart as silver. This kills anything in every study we've ever done at BYU and at University of Arizona, and whether it's Legion, there isn't any any infection from Ebola. There's no infection that doesn't die with vitamin with, with the silver. And of course, you can get similar results with high dose IV vitamin C. Now, what is this pack here? That's those are the nine pills that I call. This is my calling card. This is what we did. Lester Morrison, bless his heart, is the guy that was the MD PhD. He published in 1960 the first pub, first study on cholesterol in JAMA, mm -hmm. and Lester was able to get funding from the American Heart Association. He got 10 million bucks, and he immediately saw cholesterol was not the problem, and he immediately went into blood clotting, and so he took. And all the studies were done with the Chandler loop, which is merely a glass straw at a sharp angle, and you plug it in so that you take the circulation of the rabbit and you run it through your glass straw, and that way you can decide when you stop the clot forming at the sharp bend, and that's called the Chandler loop. Today we have much more sophisticated. I worked a lot with Roger Bick, MD, PhD, Chairman of Pathology, University of Texas, the World Authority on blood clotting. And so we have 5% of everybody has Leiden 5. Nobody gets tested for it. They get on a birth control, they smoke, and they got Leiden 5. They got blood clots at age 28. You know, this is an interesting world. But there's about another 30 to 40 diseases you've never heard of from antiphospholipid syndrome. There's many hypercoag disorders. This is a form of taking heparin every day of your life, which, knock on wood, is why I have never get a phone call. No doctor's office ever calls me and says, you're full of hot air, Dr. Gordon. We had two patients die of an MI this week. I don't get that phone call, and I haven't had it in over 20 years. Is one container considered like a chelation treatment, or how much? You said that you one, ki one kilo. There's only 30 packets in one of those containers. There's only 30 packets. And in if you live in Thailand, you weigh 100 pounds, and they have a much better food supply. They haven't poisoned their country as much. One packet is what I do for the average 100-pound person in Thailand. In what's, our country. what's all contained in there? What? What's Okay. What's, okay. Uh, I'll make it easy for I'll go, I'll okay. go, I'll go, I have a whole, I do a little quick lecture on it, to, but basically one is a primrose and one is the omega-3 and one is phosphatidylserine and ginkgo, so you'll remember my phone number, you know, <laughs> to remember where they are, and then three are a multiple that puts everything, everything was designed for me, because I was sick most of my life, I didn't care if people bought it, this is to keep me alive, yeah. and so everything has, so it has, has EDTA in there? Yeah, it has to have EDTA. EDTA EDT is my calling card. I have it I have it for bathing. We call it Beyond Clean. And I bathe the children, and the children act differently that day because the skin is the major root of excretion. And I have it in gum, so people who can't afford to get all the mercury out. And I, I would put EDTA into any orifice that is available. I'm not fussing. We take natural heparin daily. I'll take an aspirin. I don't want to be on the I'm accident prone. I don't want to be taking heparin. Well, that's that's fine, but but but. No, I mean, really, but, but well, I, I, he's, I mean, he's uh, just. <laughs> it's not like heparin. <laughs> obviously, 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 if it didn't, you understand. Hyperbole. <laughs> we sell this worldwide, and nobody's. I ski at high speed down there, and I don't turn black and blue. And the coagulation is a lot more complicated than you have any idea. You need to understand it. Aspirin is not an anticoagulant. It only works in platelets. And it's fair to do that in 30% of people. So I have to be to make it very clear that I couldn't do all that without the omega-3. I wouldn't claim that it did all that without the ginkgo. I wouldn't. Everything I did was a gentle perturbation of a hypercoag population. The population is hypercoagulated because of stress, smoking, toxins, and many people have these genetic. If I cut myself badly, I'm. Not I, I, I don't even cut it off if I do two training tomorrow. I don't stop any of the things that I do. And so across the board, the seeds of deception, we run into these so we don't have to go. You just have to buy the book. You have to look up his name. You have to understand Jeff Smith is the, is the single enemy that could bring Monsanto to its knees. He is authoritative. He's got all the dirt on them. He's done the research. He's gotten people that work for Monsanto that have spilled their guts. They, the story is so vicious. It, if you understand how many farmers have committed suicide in India because they were lied to and their animals died, when you understand how it tears up the guts of the water buffalo and they do, that's the farmer's entire living and this animal is dead because these people lie. And so these are great things you go and you can easily get online with Netflix. You can 
Acts. That took, costs you about $10 a month, and you can get any of these films. You don't have to chase all of them. These are films that when you watch them will educate them. The high fructose, everybody understands that it's in trouble. Dr. This is GMOs, do, do we actually go all the way back to just hybrids alone? Are those GMOs from the beginning stages of GMOs? I, I, no, no, no the, the GMO specifically that I'm concerned about is they wanted to come up with this cock and bull story that you would buy less pesticides, so they built the pesticide right. in called Bacillus therengensis. And when you read up on BT, then you understand why I have every human being on a probiotic every day of their life. And you'll understand why you can't eat the same food every day because you will become sensitive because everybody has a degree of leaky gut. There are more and more pesticide resistant seeds available out there every year. Exactly. But what I'm concerned about is I mean, people, pest resistant. people don't know what to eat today because anything, I, we have dramatic stories of the patient who's 90% dead with his ulcerative colitis, goes on the macrobiotic diet, goes from 80 pounds back to 140, and at the end of six months, no one has corrected the leaky bowel, and now they're deathly allergic to the macrobiotic diet. So you have to fix the bowel, and that's a huge story. And it's hard to keep it fixed if you're unlucky enough, as most of us will be, to continue to get some GMO, because the GMO is bacillus, and bacillus thuringiensis is going to disturb your bowel flora. This is to make sure that the people understand that wherever they are in the house, they are not safe, and that the BPA... When you follow the story, when you follow the story on the BPA, you will see that it is going to cause you to become an expert at what Bruce Lipton is teaching you. All the hogwash about the Human Genome Project is all BS. Because bottom line, bottom line, the genes do not control anything. They only respond to the environment they're operating in. And when you have Randy Jurdell at Duke showing that the BPA was enough to change the methylation by, it's called an epigenetic change. An epigenetic change is what changes the whole game. And you don't have to let these poor women who are told that their BRCA1 or BRCA2 test is going to cause them to have both breasts removed and both ovaries removed. That's the newest treatment. That's the newest treatment. And so... Gary, can I ask you, and I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. By all means, off. this needs to be discussion. BPA, That's BPA, because I'm like famous about BPA, what are you doing? Can you chelate, detox to a certain degree for BPA? I mean, obviously all these things, but just specifically with BPA, what can you do about that? Because that is something I'm just obsessed with. Well, BPA is going to be one of the toxins like phthalates that you hope to neutralize with the fiber and the C and the zeolite and the sweating and eating healthy and all the rest of the stuff. But the problem is that BPA, Randy Jurdle at Duke, when they did his special and they played it on Nova, it's called Ghost in Your Genes. Yeah. And when you watch that, what they're telling you is that, that all of the mice, the agouti mice, all of their offspring for all generations will always be yellow, obese, and diabetic for all time unless you bring the methylation agents back in, which is why I methylate everybody, which is why when I tell you these little products, the silver and the zeolite, if you nebulize, by all means put 100 milligrams of glutathione capsule and you get you in for your friendly. 